Hi everybody. I have um, two custom heads um, that I had uh, like partial or modification face-ups done to um, Smart Doll has already had the official Smart Doll face-ups on them. Um, these were done by Miss Lori A from Raven Wolf Design. I will post links to her social medias. Um, this is probably at least the second or third time that I've had um, face-up work done by her. Some of it has been like additive, some of it has been a whole new face-up. Um, so I have these heads and I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting just below um, to put them together as full dolls and a couple different wigs and stuff to try on. So hopefully these will look good. I don't know. Oh, well, this one's kind of uh, popping out a little bit more. I was going to say I don't know which is which because they're both cinnamon, but I can see this one's uh, face up a little bit more. So we'll open her up first and give her a look. Super excited. Um, I will say uh, Lori did a very fast turnaround uh, with these, so that was really, really fantastic. Um, so this is a Cinnamon Girl. Um, she is. She had the official face up from Smart Doll. It's um, Pride. So Pride had like the acne scarring, and I appreciate the idea of. Um, representation via scarring and that sort of thing. I didn't really suffer with acne. Of course I had pimples as a kid. Of course I did. Who didn't? Teenage years. Blech. <laughs> but um, it's not uh, something that has caused me lifelong problems. However, um, when I was in my very early 20s, um, I suffered a very huge medical problem where I ended up having a very large uh, scar on my stomach. I won't show you because who wants to see a scar on my stomach? But what I had Lori do, Raven Wolf Design, thank you, thank you, thank you, is um, kind of remove the acne scarring um, from Pride's face up and give her a different type of scar. So are you guys ready to see this? It's really phenomenal. You guys ready? So there she is. You can see it still has the original, you know, smart doll face up with the eyelashes and the eyebrow and everything. She added a couple of just a little bit of like freckles, just like here and here. Um, Oh, my lighting just went kind of darker but you can see of course she has that big scar going across her eye and um, of course that's not exactly what my scar looks like on, on my stomach my scar is like a vertical line and then like a small line coming off one side of it and kind of goes around my belly button so it's all weird looking but I wanted to kind of represent scarring in a different way so Lori did this and it is just beautiful look at that detail you guys it looks really good. She maintained the integrity of the original Smart Doll face up, removed the parts I didn't want, and then added on what I did want. So it's really, really good. I really love it, and we are going to give her a look. And since she has that scar, um, oh, is my phone trying to slide away? <laughs> Let me try to fix that here real quick. Thought I had this kind of propped up. If it starts to slide again, I'm sorry. I have it like resting on a notebook. Okay, so. I belatedly thought that it would be really cool to give her, there it goes again, hold on, let me pause you guys. Okay, I think I got it so it won't slide away, added a little bit more back weight pressure. Anyway, my idea uh, to belated, I didn't really plan for it because I didn't think about it until actually I just was getting ready to kind of put her together, um, would be really cool to give her like kind of one of those blind eyes um, in the scarred eye. Um, I don't have something like that. I actually tried to buy some eyes like that not too long ago. If you watch my videos, you'll see that I uh, <laughs> bought molds, eye molds, to make eyes, not like like clearish eyes. So I don't really have an eye per se that would really reflect um, a scar, but I do have something that could potentially work, maybe. And since she's semi-real, she has to have a little bit different size eyes but I was at first thinking um, I do have these pretty like purple I well they look very blue here but they're actually more purple um, 
and they have a little bit of glitter. They're they're blue. They they looked really blue there, um, but I was thinking that this could be good for her, like good eye. And then this isn't exactly a scarred eye, and I don't know if it will be too big, um, <laughs> but it's like a. I'll show you both. It's they're like glittery eyes with like a pearl center, so it kind of looks clearish with whites and pinks and I don't know if that would really represent like a damaged eye but let's just see what it looks like <laughs> the glitter kind of throws it off but I'll show you guys I mean it could get the idea across sort of maybe I'm not sure <laughs> Um, but then this is the other, this is the eye that I was thinking, the purplish, bluish looking ones. See if I can get that. Oh, that might, they might be too big. I don't know. Actually, they look okay. Let's see what they look like on the other side. Should I just give her two non-scarred eyes? I like the idea of a scarred eye, um, or like an injured eye. Uh, but I don't know if that pink kind of pearly glittery one really gives the right effect but I do have putty I have a whole nice big wad of it that I <laughs> pulled off of something else and so I do actually have um, the eye cradles too um, but I feel like those I kind of struggle with to do quickly it takes me a little bit of time but once they're in they look they're perfect um, but I, I find it easier to just do the standard little bit of putty on the back of the eye and then kind of stick it right in the head. So let's put this first. These Even these purplish ones are probably a little bit too uh, big for her, but at least it'll give her something, you know, a look while, we're, while I'm putting, a, you know, her on a body and... Um, a wig and all that just so that she can have some eyes in. These may not be permanent because I was just trying to kind of rush through. Oops, let's see? And then that's why it, the, <laughs> the idea of doing putty, um, sometimes I need just a moment with this stuff. Maybe I should pause the video so you guys don't watch me struggle for 10 minutes when I'm trying to get the eyes to stay put. All right, I'll do that. Hold on. Okay, so I put one of those pink glittery eyes in and then one of the blue eyes, and that's kind of what she looks like. I, they do look very blue in the light, though, but it's, it's purple when you look at it just straight on. I don't know. I wish my light would stop, like, the camera would stop changing, like, the darkness and lightness, but that's how I think I'm going to keep her. Um, that glittery pinkish eye doesn't quite do what I want it to do as far as imitating a blind eye or an injured eye, um, but it'll work for now. So I have those eyes on her. And if you're curious what I keep my eyes in, I have these tiny little things that just hold like the biggest set of eyes. Some of them are too big um, that I have and they end up being in bigger containers. But these all came from Michaels or Walmart I believe in their crafting area okay so I'm gonna put a little head cap on her like so just an orange one not a um, magnetic one or anything like that so there she is and my thought process for her since she has that scar unlike me who suffered injury you know of my own accord <laughs> of just getting sick I feel like she's going to be some type of adventurer or maybe like um, a private detective or something um, where she's very self-reliant, but she gets into trouble sometimes, hence the scar, right? So this is the body I put her on. I just borrowed this cinnamon body from one of my other dolls. I actually think I took it from Michiko, my rainbow, my proud prowess or whatever, um, which this wasn't even her body. Her She has a... Mm, evolved body that somebody else borrowed and so Nijiko has bounced around from body to body but she's I think the only 
cinnamon evolve um, body that I have. And I know that that belonged to Nijiko originally. So, all right, let's see if I can get this head on. There we go. So, there she is. And now, some wig try-on. So, I was thinking that, you know, this kind of would be fun just because it makes me think of, um, oh, what is her name? What's the, the video game character? Um, the Angelina Jolie did a couple movies for. Um, she's like an adventurer type person. I'm halfway thinking about using that name for this character. But I can't think of that character's name because I don't... I can see. I can see the character. <laughs> I just can't... Uh, I don't know. It's cute. But I'm not sure that that matches her style. And I have all these other colored wigs. But now I'm thinking maybe she just needs like some type of brown wig to put in a ponytail, right? Because isn't that what that character wears? God, what is that character's name? I did like this wig. I got this in a bundle recently. And it's kind of cool. It's like... Um, a couple different shades of blue and maybe even some black in there. And I thought this might look good on her. Um, but now, like, if I'm being honest with myself, I feel like she needs a natural color, not, um, like a colorful color. But I don't know. This does look cute on her. I, I haven't tried this wig on, like, any doll. I don't think and I've been curious to see who would end up with it I don't know that may not be the best styling but at least you can see her scar there that beautiful work that was done by Raven Wolf Design I'm gonna say their name <laughs> the artist's name like 10 times just so you guys can get it all in your head that's kind of cute could work maybe if like a hunk of it was like I don't know braided back or something that could be kind of cool I kind of like that. That could work. Um, my dog wants to know. He just scratched at the door. He's just going to have to wait. I have one other one. It's kind of similar to that last one. It's kind of a teal um, short wig. It looks like it would be just a little bit too, I don't know, poofy maybe for <laughs> the look that I'm going for for her. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, shush, doggo. I'm going to have to go let him in, otherwise he's going to keep scratching at the door. The bangs, um, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is the right look either. I, the bangs are too cut, too straight cut across for her. I feel like she needs something else. I don't know. It's an interesting look, though. It's an interesting wig. Let me pause, let my dog in. Okay, Dougie was securely let in, <laughs> and he got a treat. Um, yeah, so I don't think this one is right either. I will try one more. I wish I had one in a style of, I mean, I do. I just didn't bring one out. A style of like an updo ponytail. Look at this big, long purple wig. This could be put into a ponytail. What is that character's name? I don't know. Now I'm making this wig worse by trying to comb it out with my fingers. Let's just see. I was going to put this on. I brought this out for the other um, face or the other uh, doll that I'm going to put together. But, oh, I just love purple. Purple is one of my favorites. So, I don't know. <laughs> There, there it would be like she would be covering her scar. Um, but I do like it. I love purple. I have a lot of purple stuff, and purple is my favorite color. It's a possibility. So there you go. One last look at this beautiful um, work on this face. This was um, Pride. Acne scars removed and facial eye scar added. All right, setting her aside. Might pop that purple wig off of her to try on for the other one. All right, so the other one I'm pretty excited about 
is a Mirai in cinnamon. It's like the current version. I know she's gone through a couple different, um, like slight makeup changes or like, you know, design changes. Um, and I had, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. So I had, um, this cinnamon mirror I had along with a melody head that I got, um, for a really great deal. And I was going to use them specifically for, uh, two characters that I had in mind that I, I have already had face ups on before that I didn't, I didn't love. So I held out for a really long time. And the more I thought about it, I would just, Bloody. okay, go potty. That's my kiddo waking up from a nap. You got it? My dog's over there, nose around boxes and stuff. Okay, anyway. Uh, so anyway, I had Mirai and Melody, both these big anime version eyes, big eyes. Um, that I was going to save for these two characters, but I decided after a while that I'm just going to use the heads that I had gotten um, the face-ups on that I didn't love, and I'm trying to love them. So I just need to put them all together and see what they look like. Anyway, so finally I was like, you know what, I'm going to do something with this Mirai head. And, um, I asked Lori to basically, uh, kind of make her into a goth vampire. <laughs> I don't know what else to describe it. So she added some makeup, um, added on to Mirai's existing eyelashes and stuff, and then changed her eyebrows a little bit and then added little fangs. So are you guys ready? You ready? Here it is. Isn't that pretty cool? She had a little bit of freckles on her cheeks, and reds and blacks, and then you can see the little vampire teeth there. She's got glossy black lips, and I just love the heavier eyebrows, um, and then kind of that, like the black and the red kind of eyeshadow. It's really cool. I really like that. So. This is pretty fun. It's just so, it's like Mirai, but goth, <laughs> I guess. And so here is the body that I decided to put her on. I borrowed this body from somebody else too. Who was using this body before I popped her head off? Um, gosh, I can't even remember. But this is a body that actually I, this was like my second smart doll body ever. I think that I ever opened. Um, it was from my prototype, um, prophecy head with the three eyes. Um, but I really damaged her body and I, I know it's hers because it was, um, I used her, this was her body when I put her in a mermaid outfit for my summer photo shoot. And you can see there's just all this marking and it's, it's bad. It's all over from her waist down. There's a mermaid tail that I used that was just terribly damaged. So I need to clean it and I will someday but it doesn't bother me that much. So anyway, here's this fabulous gothy looking Mirai vampire. And I had some ideas for some eyes for her. Um, these here, I think these will be too small. I'm pretty sure they would be. We'll set those aside. Um, I have these these are BAF eyes which I'm sure if you go back in my videos you could probably um, see when I did an opening for them they're red and they have kind of like that star for like I don't know you know how like anime characters get like that star in their eye when they're super excited that looks pretty good I kind of like that um, oh, I have had these eyes for a very long time. I think they came with, no, I don't know where I got them. Maybe I got them at a doll show or in a swap or something. There's really cool markings on the back. <laughs> you can see they're kind of glittery and you can see like a maker label, like inset into the resin and they're kind of red and black too, but they also have, um, like the anime kind of like highlight dots. Let's see what those look like. And I don't know which way should the 
I guess that the light color goes on the top because that's where the dots would go. That actually doesn't look bad. I kind of like it because it matches really well with her eye makeup and all that. Let's see if I can get that in there again so you guys can see. I don't know if either one of these eyes would be um, the final choice, but I kind of like it. I kind of like these. I've had these for a really long time and just have never really been able to get them to work for a doll. Does the highlight always go on the top? Could the black go on the top? To make her eyes look a little shaded. Let's try. Let's try one. Let's just try it like upside down from what would be typical. I kind of like that too. <laughs> I think I might go with these eyes for her. I just like them better than these these ones because these are more like almost pinkish, like cherry pink. So I don't I don't think they work as well. And I'm actually kind of excited to see um, how these will look. So I don't, I don't know which way would look better. Probably, I mean, typically you think of the highlights being on top, but I kind of liked it that way. I might do it that way. Let me pause it again so that you guys aren't sitting and watching me struggle to put these eyes in. Hold on. Okay, I got her eyes in. They may not be perfectly aligned. Um, but I think they actually look really pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah, this one is a little bit like more angled here. So you see more white on the side than this one. I can fix that later, but I actually think these look pretty darn good. I have had these eyes for, I don't even know how long, maybe like almost my entire doll hobby. I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> And I've never used them on a doll, but I think they actually look really pretty good. Okay, so I did not use an eye cradle on that one either. Um, could have, but I didn't. Maybe that would make him stay a little bit better. All right, so here's a head cap for her. Again, just a basic orange one. I think, um, I can't remember when I got this, like this mirror I had on the Melody head, if I, if they came with head caps, I don't remember. I don't know. They, they probably did, but I don't know if they were orange or like skin tone or not, um, because they came with their wigs too. And eyes. That's a really good deal. Um, all right. So I'm going to pop her on. I feel like this outfit is giving me, um... Uh, why can I never think of the things that I'm trying to compare things to? The names of things. Um, I guess that's the problem with getting older. Oh, The Craft. That movie, The Craft, you know, where they have like the kind of like schoolgirl look going on, but like it's, you know, sexy. I mean, I don't know. Schoolgirl look is often made to look sexy, but that's how they kind of like they're gothy too, right? A couple of the girls anyway. In that movie, The Craft, Am I Aging Myself? It's a really old movie. Anyway, let's give her some wigs. So let me angle her down so you guys can kind of see her. Oh my gosh, that those eyes look so good. I can't even believe it. I can't believe I finally have a use for those eyes. All right, so first wig I'm going to have her try on is this one. You can see it has more purple, but it starts out black and it kind of is like an ombre into this nice dark purple. So we'll give that a, a try. I've had this wig on many a Smarty. It is a good wig. I really love it. Let's see how it looks here. I can already tell it's going to look pretty darn good because I love this wig. <laughs> and you may ask if I love it so much, why is it sitting free and not on a Smart doll? Well, I guess that's just because my current crew of Smarties um, who are on bodies just don't have that look, I guess. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. Oh, I love it. I really love this wig so much. 
Okay, I can tell from these eyes that it definitely makes this um, seem very much um, <laughs> more anime um, than is even typical for a smart doll. I, I really like them. Maybe the wig isn't that great with those eyes. But, oh, I don't know. When I look at her straight on without the uh, light, maybe if I were to like pin her hair back a little bit so you can see more of those big, beautiful eyebrows. I love this wig. And those eyes just make me so happy in this face up. All right, um, let's try that dark blue one on her just for the heck of it. She doesn't have to go all blacks, but of course, when you think of gothy style people, you <laughs> is that the right term? Um, you think of blacks and reds or dark colors anyway. I mean, this is a darkish blue. How does that look? It's pretty cute too. This is such a fun character. Um, I did bring this wig. It's like uh, silver into purple kind of tips. I've also used this on a fair few smart dolls and it's looking a little frizzy, but it could work. Let's see. It's cute. I'm not sure it goes with the look though. All right, I did bring out um, one actual smart doll wig, and funnily enough, it's the wig that comes with Transcendence, I'm pretty sure. Um, like all the versions of Transcendence, I think. It's kind of that like grayish, brownish mix. And for my Transcendence, my gray one, I had her in um, a black wig, which I really liked. It was black and curly like my hair. <laughs> um, well, my hair is really just very dark brown. It's not actually black, I don't think, anyway. But anyway, I didn't use the Transcendence wig that I got with Transcendence on Transcendence. So I just kind of have had it set aside. Let's see how this looks. Mm, I don't know. I like this wig. It's pretty and all. But I just haven't found the right doll for it yet. It's kind of okay, I guess. I don't know, you guys. It could be good. Maybe. Maybe if I, like, um, like, tilted the part to one side or the other. It could work. Maybe. But I actually really liked that um, first wig that I had on her. The purple and black one, which is one of my favorites, as I said. So let's put that one back on her. And I think that will be the final look for the evening. Oh gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> there she is. All right, so. Here's my two girls. Thank you to um, Raven Wolf Designs again, Miss Lori, for doing these fantastic additive, subtractive change ups to uh, the Smart Doll existing face ups. Um, again, this was uh, Pride, um, and then this is Mirai. Uh, so. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that was fun for you. Um, like I said, I'll definitely put a link to uh, Lori's socials if you are interested in pursuing a face-up or any type of face-up work from her. Um, she does full face-ups too. I've, I've had some uh, full face-up from her before, um, but it's fun to do add-on or subtractive to the existing smart, smart doll face-ups too. So, um, I think that's it. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.